Hello everyone and welcome to a video I am so excited to bring you today. We are playing Far Cry 5. The game has just gone live. I have been waiting and waiting, not just because I'm a huge fan of the series, but because this game has a map editor. Now the map editor is something I've been a fan of since I was a little kid when the original Far Cry games were out. In 2008, I believe it was, Far Cry 2 was released with an incredible map maker. But number three and four were disappointing. Number three, Far Cry 3, they removed the ability to play with vehicles in the map editor, which was a huge loss. It just played like Call of Duty in the end. And then in number four, they removed player versus player. Now they replaced this with the ability to create your own missions, but it just wasn't the same. So we have been devoid of a decent map editor, but Ubisoft are claiming that this editor is the one we have been waiting for. So in this video today, I'm gonna to give you a real quick overview of the editor, just explore some of the tools, some of the features in the game, and then we're going to see if Ubisoft are right in claiming this is the best editor to date. So let's jump straight into it. Now, the first thing to know, if you didn't know already, Far Cry map editor is now called Arcade. So you click on this from the main menu, Open Arcade will take you to the ability to play the maps, but if you go to Arcade Editor, that's essentially the map editor now. And you're greeted with this menu. The first thing to notice is that you can still make those solo and co-op missions if you like. But the thing I'm excited about is that we now have the ability once again to create multiplayer maps. And I believe this edit map over here is just if you've already started a map, you can go and pick that. So let's jump into multiplayer. And here you can see we can choose our options. We've only got Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch. I'm disappointed to see there's no Capture the Flag or anything along those lines, but hopefully they come at a later date. Terrain, we can start with an empty map. We can have a preset of a forest, a rocky island, which looks wonderful, or the Outer World preset, which looks pretty wacky. But for the interest of just exploring the tools, we're just going to go with a basic, plain map here. So, what are the key things here? Player versus player is back. I've said that already. It's only 6v6, so a total of 12 players, which is still not the 16 we had with Far Cry 2, which was amazing, but I'm sure that it's not going to be the end of the world. As I said, you can still do those missions if you like, and apparently the map size, which you can see here, is still more or less the same as the previous iterations of the editor as well, but they were huge. So I'm sure the size of the map is not gonna be a problem at all. So this video, we're just gonna explore the basic tools and features we have available. We're gonna see some of the assets and just get an idea of if this editor is as limitless as they claim it to be. So let's start off with getting some texture on the ground. Now the editor actually plays more or less the same, whereas structured, the menus are pretty much the same as Far Cry 2, 3, and 4. They haven't really changed much, and that's a good thing because they already had a really good user interface for what can be an extremely complex thing. So I'm so happy they've kept that as it is. Let's get something down. Okay, that's very green. We're gonna change this. Let's pick a texture. I'm live common here, as you can tell. So this really is experimentation as much for me as it is anyone else right now. I'm just playing the game straight up. I only briefly popped in just to make sure everything was working and I am learning myself as we go. You can see under terrain, we've got all the normal tools. We've got the bump, flatten, raise and lower, the smooth tool, the ramp tool, erosion, and then noise. And we've got more, set to height and hole, which are both very interesting. Those uh, set to height I don't think is new, but hole is definitely a new tool available. We've got our texture, as you saw earlier. You can still only pick four textures by the looks of it for your entire map, which is interesting. I believe that's been the same since Far Cry 2. We've got a vegetation. Again, it works more or less the same as the previous games. But what I was excited to see 
is that despite Far Cry 5 being set in America and Montana, we've still got some of the exotic tools to play with, like these palm trees, which are going to look terribly out of, out of place when I actually place them because it just doesn't suit the style of the map. But you get the idea. We can still place those items. An interesting note, we used to hold the left stick in to make the camera go fast, almost like the sprint button, if you like. But now you actually tap it in and you can see in the top right, we've got one speed, tap it again, two speed, three speed, four speed, and so on. That's how you actually adjust the speed of the camera now. Road tools. Again, more or less work the same. This is the first time I've seen them actually. Pass snow. Oh, that's interesting. We've even got snow paths in. And the tool, as I said, works the same as in previous iterations. And that's fine by me. The tool works just fine. And we can adjust the width. That's still quite narrow, although that's just a path. What if we go to, hmm. I'm just experimenting here. Let me have a look. Okay, so the roads can actually be quite narrow, or is that a path? Hmm. Okay, the roads look quite narrow, that's interesting, but I'll look into that in more detail. What else have we got? We've got our vegetation, I show, we've got our roads, we've got water, so we've got ocean and lakes. Ah, so now, in previous games, you used to have a universal water level, but now it looks like you can actually place them in different places and heights and things. Okay, so ocean is for the entire map, so let's raise this up and wait for when it breaks through. Wow. Whoa, okay. I was wondering why nothing was happening, and that is why. Because it was just taking a while to load. So let's bring that water right down I give it a second. Whoa, okay. Wow, that's very blue. Are you disorientated? I certainly am. Let's actually stop playing with that tool. But you can change the appearance of the water. You can change the color. You can have even adjust the wave strength, which is absolutely incredible. Now, how on earth do I get out of this? Oh, okay, there we go. There's our map. That was extremely disorientating. But you get the idea, that is a very cool looking tool. Okay, so let's have a look. What kind of objects do we have to play with? You can see here we've got lights and effects. Wonderful, we've got some really cool things here. I'm not gonna go into too many here because it would take forever to go through everything. But you can see we've got all our different effects. We've got fire, lights, racing effects. What are these? Oh, okay, they're to create races. Excellent, fantastic. We've got nature so we can place individual natural things like rocks and trees and vines. Game mode objects. Okay, so they're objectives. Gameplay, what are these? Okay, so that's all vehicles and things. That's the key thing, vehicles are in this editor and you can play with them. And then they start splitting up into different categories here. For those of you that don't know, one of the amazing features of Far Cry 5 is that they've got assets not just from the Far Cry 5 campaign set in Montana in USA, they have brought in the entire Ubisoft universe. So we've got Far Cry 4, but then we've got Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Primal and Unity all in here as well. So we can pull assets from completely different games. Let's have a look at how crazy this can get. Commercial, industrial, residential, transport. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to commercial. Wow, skyscrapers. What are these? Whoa. Check this out, guys. How insane is this? Let's put a few of these down. These are massive. Now, I'm going to assume you can't actually go in these. I think it would be a little bit too crazy to actually go in them. But look at that, they are huge. I will go in and run around in a minute. I'm just gonna look at some more objects first. Okay, let's go to Far Cry 5. Let's see what kind of things we've got from this very game. Go down to military maybe. Bunkers. 
Oh, this is interesting. It looks like we can create underground complexes. Yes, we can. Interesting. No wall on one side, but uh, fully furnished already. This is a really interesting category. That could be very interesting. Okay. Let's have a look here. We've got military, arsenal. Okay, so we've got warehouses. Okay, this is good to see. So we've got the massive structures from Watch Dogs, but the Far Cry assets are a lot more workable, if you like. They're not as insane. Fortress, what have we got under here? Okay, this is interesting. This is very interesting. We've got government, hospital, police, police. Let's have a look at this one. What kind of build, wow. Quite large buildings. Again, doesn't look like you can go in them as such. Although, this may be an exception. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Hmm. The inside looks furnished, so I'm curious to see if we can actually go inside those. Yeah, we'll have to do some further investigating, but I'm sure there'll be a version you can actually enter of that, of that prison. Let's have a look. The answer is yes, look at this. It's got a door on the side, you can go inside. That is insane. Okay, let's keep going through. We've got primal, interesting. All right, and um, let's, uh, we're, okay, so we've got the basics. Everything looks really promising. We've got the terrain editing tools. We've got some insane looking assets. Let's, let's dive into some specific questions that I actually had regarding this editor. So have the tools changed? The answer is not really. The tools are more or less the same, but they didn't need to change because they were already fantastic as they were and they've added a few extras just to sweeten the deal. Are there vehicles in the editor? I, I know there's vehicles. I haven't actually tried them yet though. So let's go ahead and do that. Got vehicles. Oh, this is interesting. So we've got, <laughs> Okay, guys, check this out. We have got an insane array of vehicles. And we even have planes. Planes are a new addition to the game. I am actually in disbelief that they're in the editor. Let's see if these are actually functional. So to go into play, you click pause, then you click play. No, you don't, because I haven't put spawn points down. Let's go explore instead. That would just let us drop down. Ow, I think I dropped from too high up. Look at this. Okay. Let's get inside here. Now, I've never flown a plane before. So, well, in, the game, in this game. So, bear with me. This might not go out. A to accelerate, left to, ooh. Okay. All right, well, that's all I really needed to know. Yes, you can put vehicles down. Yes, you can put planes down. And yes, you can fly those planes. Let's, uh, let's try and land this. Oh God. Okay, let's uh, get out of that. That is incredible. Okay, we've got planes. The next thing I wanna know is, what NPCs do we have? So we know we've got, an, okay, AI. AI is what they call them. We've got control zones, animation points, animals. So we've got bears, dogs. We've got tons of fish, eagles. We've got beehives even. We've got bison, boar, cattle, bull. Maximum number of that. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So it looks like you can only place so many animals in a certain grid. That's, that's interesting. So you can't clump everything together. Yeah, I suppose that's before, for performance reasons. And yeah, just look at all these animals. I've got a pig with a party hat because why not? It's Far Cry. We've got skunks, beehives, some very creepy looking wolves. And what? Is that a... A Yeti. 
Oh, I think they added those into Far Cry 4. Yeah, I think that was DLC. I've never actually seen them myself and I'm quite scared to see uh, what they're actually like. And then the one last question I had, does the fire actually spread in this game? Does the fire still spread? It used to, I know it doesn't single player, but let's see if you can, if that happens in multiplayer as well. Let's, uh, that's a grenade. Let's, hmm. I don't actually think we have Molotovs. Hmm, okay. Well, the fire's gonna be something I struggle. Oh my God. That was terrifying. Run, doggy, run. <laughs> oh my, that is absolutely terrifying. How quick is he? Can I intervene here? Because I feel like I have a moral responsibility to do so. Oh my god. Okay. All right, well, things are clearly getting out of hand here. So I'm going to back away. I'm going to turn this way and check out our terrible creation. But really, we're just looking here to showcase what the editor can do. This gives you a very brief idea of the tools we actually have to play with. So let me know what you think, guys. I am so excited for this. I'm, I played Far Cry from a very young age and this is really exciting this is the editor by the looks of things that we have been waiting for so what do you think i personally love the look of this i haven't tried making a map yet or anything but all the tools look like they're there everything that we need is there and it doesn't appear like there are any shortcuts or any hidden negatives like there were in far cry 3 and 4. so i am so keen to check this out I will wrap the video up there. Again, this is just a basic showcase of how the editor works, how, what we've got to play with, what tools we have. But in future videos, I'm going to be making complete maps. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to speed them up. So it's going to be like a speed build and you can actually see the map come together. And what takes me hours will take a matter of minutes. And then I'll show you the final creations. So if you do like the thought of that, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be playing a lot of Far Cry specifically with the editor. And if you want to see those creations, please, please check those out because they will be coming thick and fast in the coming days, weeks and months. But anyway, guys, thank you for checking this out. Again, it's not a detailed overhaul, but it just gives you an idea of the few basic things and it just shows that Ubisoft don't appear to have taken shortcuts. This sounded like it was too good to be true, but it looks like it is real. It looks like there is nothing that has been compromised on. So, thank you once again for checking out this video. I do hope you are excited for this as much as I am, and I cannot wait to see what comes out in the near future. If there's anything you want me to explore for you further, if the editor is something you want to if it's a deal breaker for you, if there's something you want to know you can do in the editor, be sure to ask me in the comments because I can explore that for you before you have to actually buy the game and find out the hard way. So if you've got any ideas, any thoughts, any questions, put them in the comments below and I will be sure to help you out at some point. Thank you again for checking out this video. I hope to see you again in a new one very, very soon. And thank you for stopping by.